ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू यूज ए रिले विद इन दी सर्किट विजर्ड सिमुलेटर सर्किट विजर्ड इज एन ऑफलाइन सिमुलेटर एंड आफ्टर प्रोटियस वी कैन से दैट इट इज द बेस्ट सिमुलेटर इफ द विजुअलिटी इज कंसर्न so first you can see that we have on left on right side a lot of options like power supplies and all of these things so in order to operate a relay we need our 10 9 volt power supply that is in the form of a 9 volt battery now we need to take our relay so we will go for relay and we will take miniature spdt that is single pole double throw relay so click on that and drag it out okay now one more thing that we need a switch for to operate a relay so so this is our switch okay now there are five pins of this relay two pins are connected with the energizing coil while three for the connections the one is a common pin and the other two are normally closed and normally open pin but why they are called as normally open and closed because normally clo normally closed is usually attached or obviously attached with the common common pin okay this one is third pin or common pin while when it is energized when the relay is energized this connection will break and normally open will be attached to the common one so we can like we can operate certain high power component with this now we can see that we have connected both of the relay pins with the battery with the help of a switch so we can make it on and off and like this now what we need to do is to take one bulb which is in the opto electronics and we will go for our signal bulb and uh, now we need to attach it with the uh, common pin it's one end with the common pin and its other end must be with the uh, 1.5 volt battery or like this okay so uh, we will there is uh, a very little difference between a normal switch and our relay except with this like uh, energizing and controlling phenomenon okay now what will happen that when we are going to close the switch current will flow on the coil coil will become energized and then it will start its magnetic action to connect normally open and common pin with each other now we will run it out okay now you can see that our our bulb used to become on okay uh, if we use two batteries then our uh, what's called as our our bulb uh, will show some more brightness so we will go for this and this now we will run it out now our lamp brightness is some bit more 
so with the help of this relay we can control our certain appliances so hopefully you got the concept that how we can use a relay within the circuit wizard simulator so don't forget to subscribe and thanks for visiting our channel